Hi, I'm Mark Dixon, and on this week's Tuesday Tech Tips, I want to show you how you can take presentation software like Keynote and PowerPoint and make it more engaging for your learners. Okay, so we've all got PowerPoint or other presentation software like Keynote, and we tend to use this in the same way every time, with individual slides that we work through in a linear fashion, one after the other. But what if you wanted to make your presentations more interactive, especially if you were providing this as a blended learner resource for your learners to work through independently, with menu items or decisions for the learners to follow? This way, the learner would participate not just by clicking forward, but by making choices that affect what slide comes next, making the presentation non-linear. Luckily, it's really easy to do just that by using PowerPoint actions and buttons. Here's how we do it. Right now, I'm in a short health and safety PowerPoint presentation I've created. It's got three sections, key regulations, PPE and safety signs. If we play the presentation, you'll see that by clicking the image for regulations, it takes me to the page about regulations and then clicking the back button takes me back to the menu page. Again, I can click the PPE image and it takes me to the PPE page and I can click the back button again. However, I can't yet click the signs image as I haven't created the actions. Let's look at how we do it. As you can see in the presentation, I've got a slide created for health and safety signs. I just need to link this to the image in the menu. To do this, select the image and choose insert from the ribbon at the top of the screen and then click the actions button. Now we can choose to link the image to the correct slide by choosing hyperlink to and then slide and picking the slide we want. So now the image jumps to the right slide when it's clicked, but at the moment we can't return to the main menu as we haven't created a back button yet. To do this, select the slide and then insert a shape you want to use as a button. You can double click to add text to the button. Now all we need to do is add an action to the button. So click action and hyperlink to, and in this case, first slide. Once you've created buttons with actions, you can copy and paste them into new slides to save you creating ones each time. You can also hyperlink out to web pages too using the same method but choosing URL from the hyperlink menu. So let's take a look at it in action. You can see now that when we click the safety signs it jumps to the safety signs page and then by clicking the first aid kit we're taken to the HSE website. So as you can see it's really easy to add actions to buttons and it's a really effective way to add interactivity to your PowerPoints that get your learners to participate and engage with your presentations. That's all for this week. Don't forget, if you found a useful tool you think will be good for me to share, then just get in touch. See you next week.